so on this vacation, I was thinking I was I was gonna do a magic trick that involved dollar bills, but it involves a lot of work to a lot of dollar bills. To do this magic trick, I have to spend like twenty to thirty minutes with a dollar bill, and I have to do it for dozens of dollar bills. They all started as brand new dollar bills, and so I I was like, well, for for the trick, when I do the trick, they need to look like weathered dollar bills. So I I go to work out. And I'm starting to sweat. I'm like 20 minutes in. And so I, I, I reach over, I grab a dollar bill, and I, I lift up my shirt, and, and it just sticks right on the sweat of my chest. Mm. And, I'll, and, and I go for a while. So I start to grab another bill, and then this time I kind of wipe it all across my brow. <laughs> and then I curl it on up and throw it in there, whatever. <clears throat> and I take this mountain of folded, like, used <laughs> tissue bills, and I turn around, and I realize one beside me <laughs> has been watching me use dollar bills as Kleenex. And now for something completely unrelated. Oh, I, mean, I mean, some people want to see the bill after, after, after I'm done. <laughs> WGFBBQ! Hello, you beautiful demon hordes of the internet! We've missed you. It's Tuesday night, and that means it has got to be go time for that attack! The show bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. Hello, beautiful folks. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Texas. <clears throat> That's, uh, uh, uh we, we have unlimited data here. Joined by <laughs> Justin Robert Young in Oakland, California. How are you, Justin? Oh, man, I'm doing fantastic. It's great to be here on Valentine's Day, so let's not waste any time in bringing in our guest. First and foremost, it's the woman trying to lean off screen. <laughs> it is my own wife. She is Twitch.tv's fake gamer girl, Ashley Paramore, my wife. Hello. Hello. Hello, Ashley. Hello. Good to see you guys. Uh, and, of course, uh, joining me in this corner, live from Austin, Texas, is Mike TV. Hey! <laughs> also, Mike! Bonnie the Invisible Wife. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry, I didn't realize I was roped into it. What, what am I getting roped into? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, hey man, uh, okay, so it's Valentine's Day, we were trying to think of something fun and, and, and a way to get loose, and we originally were talking about doing some kind of, um, uh, some kind of, uh, 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 newlywed game type thing, but then Justin had the brilliant idea, hey, why don't we take a game that we already know and love, aka I Said What, and, uh, uh, play it, see how well our wives know how good we are mm. with words. So basically, I suggested, hey, Brian, what if we do literally zero work on the show tonight? <laughs> like, let's let's under the guise of involving our spouses instead just literally sit here and laugh at our, our past follies. While indeed, as you pointed out, Ashley and Bonnie, with Mike as our referee, is going to have to uh, uh, determine who knows us best. Hey, In fact, uh, Mike, 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 Mike can be the, the, the control like he can be the one that is just just the random person that's uh, like uh, playing on on either side. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be great. Uh, Mike, would it make you feel better if we forced you to make up songs for everything, or would you <laughs> just like to be a person today? Um, it's up to you guys. I'm totally. I'm totally. Mike TV. Yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, you're at Twitch.tv slash Get Set Go. No, or Mike, Mike TV, TV Live. Mike, Mike TV, TV Live. Yeah, Got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, he is the one who. Uh, made our amazing lullaby. He's a, 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 a troubadour to beat the band, uh, which he physically beat to death. I did. He did. did. He beat the rest of the band. <laughs> yeah. and now, and now, yeah. he's, uh, now he's rocking and rolling on the solo tip. Uh, Brian, man, we got a, a, a – are you a big Valentine's Day guy? Like uh, you know, even did, when, you were, when you were in your younger days? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You brought me a rose tonight. I did. Hey. I, I I pulled over Aww. on the side of the road Aww. and and paid. Plucked a rose from, uh, well, from, from the so hand capitalist. from the hand of <laughs> I somebody, somebody here who's definitely legally. The um you'll get your money when you're a citizen. <laughs> you know what's funny is Valentine's Day has always meant my dad's birthday. Because uh, my dad, uh, his birthday is today. Al Brushwood, uh, he of Grumble Thong. Uh, 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 fame, uh, but my adopted bastard father also has a birthday today. Really, Teller's birthday is really? today. Crazy. So, so every every Valentine's Day, I fire off a uh, you know I give my dad a call and I fire off a happy birthday email to Teller. Yeah. And uh, one year, I I, I got him a, 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 a happy birthday dad card, which he found strangely <laughs> sweet. Uh, it was it was fun, awesome. really cool. Awesome. 
so, like, do you what, like? Well, what's like the most grand gesture you've ever made on Valentine's Day? Or are you one of those that's like, man, the corporations are trying to monopolize love, and that's why, like, I say f you to Russell Enstover. <laughs> Who's Russell Enstover? Oh, the guy with the candies, the chocolate. chocolate. Oh, got it. Like you would know. (laughs) (laughs) Busted. Burn. Um, yeah, I got to admit, I always felt like, uh, like if it if there was a sent, there is a forced sentimental sentimentality to um, uh, to to. Valentine's Day, yeah, though, right? Yeah, Where it's yeah. like, like your anniversary is your anniversary, your birthday is yeah. your birthday. Uh, oh shit! But I do know uh, there was an interview with a, uh, a an adult store clerk who uh, was asked a bunch of random trivia, and it turns out that r- in the run up to uh, what, what do you th- what do you think? And, and somebody can fact check this. I might be wrong. What do you think the biggest product run up of sales is? In the days leading up to uh, from, from to a, like, val- from a, from Valentine's adult, Day, from adult, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adult. the lead up to Valentine's Day. What is everybody just, making sure to pick up? Like an uh, oils, some, some like nice condoms. oils, right. oils condoms. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna say uh, personal, like, like, like either like vibrators. Yeah, yeah, vibrators yeah. Or, or or like. You know, I want to say that. something just really vulgar. So Go ahead. What is, I'm just gonna all right, say. all right, everybody. Yeah, uh, Bonnie, what's a vulgar? I was going to say butt plugs. That's right. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody realizes it's the one time yeah. of year you yeah. can bring up a little yeah. bit of backdoor yeah. play. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, people go wild for the butt sex. <laughs> Happy butt sex day. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. How crazy, right? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Funny. Uh, what do you I mean? Do you think that that's like, uh, like? Uh, I mean, I guess the net. Um, is that? Is that? A, is that? <laughs> a, is that? A, this is amazing. He's completely speechless. 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 <laughs> oh, there's literally only one way to go with this conversation, which is to ask everybody whether or not they've tried to put it in the butt on Valentine's Day, right? All right. Uh, oh, on ba- on pole. Specific, <laughs> yeah, specifically on Valentine's Day. Oh on Valentine's Day. Did you try? <laughs> did you try to put Cupid's arrow right in the heart of the long way? So uh, back in its sheaths. Geeks, do you think drinks of geeks have uh, used that as a question? What do you uh, think the number one sales uh, item? On? I don't know, but I would love to see uh, you know, a time traveling 1970s uh, uh, family feud where that's <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, the, on the board. Yeah. Uh, survey says. But up, but plugs. Plugs. Da, da, da. Well, that was always yeah. Da, da, da. That was uh, always like what, what, like the most famous uh, newlywed outtake. Yeah, which by the way, Bonnie oh, had never I heard. Never heard of it. You had never heard of it. Uh, uh, Mike TV, you know this one, right? Which one? Uh, uh, the most infamous. Like, it was thought to be total urban legend. Like, it definitely did not happen. Uh, they, they did the newlywed game for years and years and years. And uh, it was yeah, one of those yeah, things. Like, yeah. the story was that there was a chick who, uh, uh, you know. It, the, 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 the question was, what's the strangest place you and oh, your yeah, had, husband, yeah, had sex, uh, Ralph, yes. have yeah. made whoopee? Yeah, made yeah, whoopee. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, and then, yeah. uh, and it turns out, like, like that shit was a real clip and they and I saw it at the turn of the century. I spent I spent half yeah. a decade convinced like it's bullshit. No way. No way that happened back in the nineteen seventies. Uh it was like, what's the strangest place you made Whoopi? And she awkwardly she's like, Oh, I don't know if I should say and the husband's <laughs> like, Well, go ahead, go ahead. Cause he's made his guess and she goes, uh, in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right. So let's say is there so I have so so never never Mike never never any grand you ever like uh, I'm sure I mean you're a musician right so you can just have that write a song cop yeah out. I mean I mean I think uh, yeah Wait, I think are, I, I are have... we talking about doing it in the butt what's happening what? but grand it, gestures of romance oh Brian. sorry no no, no yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in my mind romance. Justin was saying yes. yeah. all right time out in my mind Justin was saying like hey Mike you're a musician you do it in the butt right Mike, where is the weirdest yeah. place you've ever made <laughs> whoopee yeah. like yeah, yeah, come yeah, on yeah. Right. Yeah. before we move on though Brian no. <laughs> <laughs> what you wrote your uh the first version of your fire eating 
Oh, at. that's right. So, like, he was trying to impress me with dangerous feats of fire eating. Really yeah. awesome. So, yeah. And then yeah, that turned great. into, like, that's a show a thing. So, <laughs> screw you guys. So, yeah, we got, and, 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 and does. <laughs> oh, my God. So, we've got a, uh, a straw pull up. <laughs> oh, Pol Pot. Say, butt sex, yes, no, Pol Pot. Uh, Pol Pot. Pol Pot in 50% of the votes. 50% of the vote, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that guy Pol Pot, he really seems to do really well in those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wild guy, man. A yeah. wild guy. You can avoid that old genocide thing, man. He really, he got it in. Uh, although I really like the idea that in what I was saying, Ryan's imagination was uh, Mike doing it in the butt and then saying like, oh shit, babe, hold on. I got this idea. Like, what? Doing it in the butt. Doing it in the butt. What, 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 what? He's, he's what? writing it in yeah, sharp, yeah. Sharpie what, is what, the on her back. Is the <laughs> What rhymes with butt, sweetheart? What do they put Oh, I don't mean to strut, but I'm doing it. <laughs> Your butt. He puts the laptop on her back. It's like going to rhymedictionary.com. Like. <laughs> she starts hearing, like, rudimentary beats dropping on her backside. <laughs> Uh, uh, so hi, anyway, lovely yeah, lady. So that's all true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys. So that um, that that's pretty much par for the course. Every uh, that exact scenario, every Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. So, but but you. I mean, how many songs have you written on Valentine's Day as a Valentine's I, Day gift? Because if have, I were a, if I were somebody with your talents, it would literally be the only thing I did. <laughs> I would have as many years as I was alive. Uh, would be how many times on Valentine's Day I, I wrote a song. Well, the thing is, is, is it that's it's actually really funny because the thing is, is it is it when you're with someone long enough, the songs they like. I'm like, I wrote you a song, and they're like, really a song, really. That's like I know how long <laughs> it takes you to write a song, and I know how much effort you put in that. Really, that's what you did. I'm like, well, I, 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 I wrote you a song. I, something Aww. that like you know like. Yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, I, know, I feel all you bad know. about eating fire for Valentine's oh, yeah. Day. No, 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 It's no, like, no, yeah. really? Bonnie's sitting there <laughs> <laughs> on the stoop of her trailer with her arms on her side. I'm eating fire. Like, really? Fire eating? <laughs> this is what you're giving me? Aww. But, uh, no, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, I mean, but it, there is there is a window of, of a couple of years where it's special and awesome. And, 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 I, and I have definitely done that. I've employed that. So what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A three-year Halo, where it's like the first yeah, time, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Where they're like, yeah, that's in fact. In fact, the last one I wrote, uh, the the I was like, I wrote this for you, and 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 she started crying, and she's like, I, this is you know, yeah. I, mean, I just realized it's gonna get really dark for me. In, in uh, let's just move on. Hey, hey, uh, Justin, what about you? <laughs> what kind of grand gestures uh, I mean, do you do on Valentine? Mostly butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I'm always, uh, 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 I guess, bad. I'm a bad person to date. Mary. <laughs> bad to the bone. I mean, dinners, probably dinners, right? That's that's you. That's usually my move. Is except, like, let's go get good food. Except we did that for my birthday, not for Valentine's. So, what are you doing for me for Valentine's okay, Day? Okay, number one. As soon as I figured out that her birthday was the day before Valentine's Day, oh, wow. I was like. Should change. Nope. That's not how it works. in baby. She has the perfectly placed birthday. Because number one, it's the day before Valentine's Day. Meaning, like we did this year, we can go ahead and get that two days before Valentine's Day reservation. Oh, uh, right on. Where nobody's nope. there. Nobody, awesome. right? So we're smooth sailing there. Also, if I overperform on Valentine's Day... That birthday of mine is like two weeks away. Oh like we, shit! You get to set the bar. You, you yep. you're the one who'd be like, like, uh, yeah, this is where we're headed. I just yeah. There's always like a moment where I like to overperform on Valentine's Day, and I just make eye contact and be like, we're having a great time, right? Magical time. Everyone's having a great time. Really lifting the bar of what we would do for each other, right? <laughs> anyway, I mean, March 5th is right around the corner. Just so everybody knows, Cinco de Marzo, if you're Spanish or something. Uh, we're all having a great time on that day, right? Anyway, I uh, love you, honey. Bye. Anyway, I don't know why what? I'm leaving in this scenario. I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> I float away like Mary Poppins. But that's, that's a great story. What's my Valentine's Day gift again? Oh, we had birthday dinner. We had birthday so. dinner. Here's what I did. Grand okay. gesture. Just so everybody knows that married life is uh, doesn't dull the passion any. Uh, I 
seventy percent clean the kitchen. Oh, oh. Wow. Hey. thank you so much. Seventy percent oh. clean the kitchen today. Oh, that's funny you say. It was uh, I mean, number one, don't even God play. That's Bonnie, a big you're deal. about to out it's me. Actually, a really big deal. <laughs> Bonnie's about to out me for not wiping my ass today. God yeah. damn. What? <laughs> what? No, no, I can't. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, so no, no, no. This is uh, this is Justin's metaphor. Thank you for injecting it. Oh, no, 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 no. Although, by the way, hold on. Let's pause and understand that this also came in a conversation about butt sex where Brian's like, Bonnie's going to out me for not wiping my ass today. <laughs> Bonnie, uh, Bonnie uh, passive aggressively asked the question whether or not the trash was out uh, if there wasn't a new trash bag in. Justin publicly set the new bar for a family by saying, I don't know, that's like if you're done pooping if you haven't wiped your ass. And then now my wife patronizingly asked if I wiped my butt. Uh, I, it's just that the dog was eating like empty wrappers. And... <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, it was I understand just... bonding with a new puppy, but this is me on the pill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, that used to be a regular thing with pet owners. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry? Oh. Mike, oh, my God. Mm, the concept of right along dog along. eating your butt is as old right. as... Right. Hey, uh, Happy I... Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I I got a question. Like, like what's up What's up with our, our kids not liking curse words? Like, when I was a kid... As soon as I discovered curse words, they were like the greatest thing yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all my kids hate them. They all hate them, and they all respect me less for for hearing them, much less saying them. Yeah. Uh, it, well, uh, uh, feels like there's a story here. Is there is there like a a thing that happened where you like uh, like going on like like a Richard Pryor style no, like traffic no, of something? No, and... it, it's it's even like um oh you know what here was the interesting thing is the kids watch Av- Avatar uh, the James Cameron movie and. Uh, and they're like, they got really, both of them stood up indignant the first time like ass was said. They were like, ah, oh, dad, what, what? And then, and then. Uh, I think they protest too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you think that's uh, yeah, Oh, yeah. that makes sense. I mean, they had, they recognized it. So. They, yeah, they, they I didn't even think about that because I, I, yeah. I guess I did the same thing. D- did you sh- try to hide curse words from your parents? Oh my God! I was I was a real goody two shoes. There was a moment I remember the moment that I first cursed. Go on. It was in third grade, and I was in uh, I was in the cafeteria, and and prior to that, I was exactly like your kids. I was just all like Mormon, like like well, frick hell, like or, or heck. Uh, I don't know why you're freaking doing this, man. This is a crazy the uh, stuff that you're freaking stuffing right now. Ah, jeez. I guess I'm Morty apparently, but like <laughs> you're like a. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, and then at some point I got really mad. I was oh man, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, I, was, I was the lunch monitor for our table because oh, I my. was a good boy mm. and the teacher had invested me in powers to narc on my fellow students. Uh, and so I was watching to see if there was any misbehavior going on at the table. And I got, and somebody was really testing me. Right. And I remember getting so mad that I said the F word like right to their face. And as soon as that dam was broken, well, this is the river we paddle into this day. It became the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. As soon as I realized there was power in curse words, and curse words were a something that could make you dangerous and could make people laugh. Sure. I'm like, well, where have you been all my life? Yeah. Uh, I guess that'll happen at some point. I don't know. I remember. I remember kind of a very similar. I was in in seventh grade. And I'm I'm trying out for student government, and I'm like trying to get voted in, and so you have to bribe everybody. That's what I got told. My brother was like, "You have to bribe everybody, give them gum, and put your name on Wait, it to be say, popular." Well, to to get your votes. So like, I put oh. my you know, like, I mean, he's vote not for wrong. I mean, yeah. So yeah. like, I'm handing out gum with vote for Bonnie, and and then uh, this dude that I knew, and he's just really just a 
jerk. And he comes up and he's like, give me all the gum. And I'm like, no, I already gave like, you a like, gum. You, <laughs> you see, that was your mistake. You should have said, yes, and you give me all the votes. Yeah, <laughs> you're oh, right. Damn. You're yeah. right. I should have done That's that. That's the muscle you needed, man. He didn't have the flex. He was a weak man. <laughs> he didn't he have the flex. Weak. He, flex. <laughs> yeah. he couldn't have handled Valentine's Day with me. Man, this punk jump. bitch didn't have the flex. <laughs> if you catch my drift. He comes up and he tries to get tough with me and and tries to steal all my gum. And I said, no way. And then he he flips me off. And I had no idea. And he just puts his big chubby finger right in my face. Oh, like chubby. right in front of my nose. Yeah, he was just, ugh. In my, fa- he was still growing. We're all chubby at that age because we're sure, kids. Sure, you know? sure, sure. And then, Stop like, defending him. Don't uh, defend your abusers. I know. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Quick question. Was was, was like, it the experienced, fully vertical, uh, uh, or or the the curl? Oh yeah, or, no. or, or, or the no. The, that's the, the thing. Curve. It was it was straight and rigid and like perfect symmetry and everything. And I was just right in front of my Total face. Total yeah, right. and I was just like, <laughs> no, 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 and I was just like, what is I that? I become a woman. What does that mean? How do I do that? And and why would I do that in what context? So, <laughs> shut up, I think you're sorry. a real, <laughs> you're so a real asshole. All right, but wait a minute, though, like, like so kickstands or no? Did did he did he go with the, with, with, with the, with the, no, the, like, Knuckle, like, the knuckles up, or do you go like 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 Sicilian grandmother, where it's just like <laughs> one lone finger? Wait, 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 let's get it in there. <laughs> there, there it is. Yeah, yeah with one. the thumb. <laughs> it kind of looks like a gang sign. Yeah, with the the portrait. New the... Twitter avatar. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, somebody who'll never get cursed at by a third grade Justin or get the kickstand uh, fingers are all of our patrons. At patreon.com slash night attack. That's right, folks. If you head on over to patreon.com, you could join the league of 1,520 members of the beautiful land of chat realm and keep us loud, live, and independent, uh, where we are able to stay on the regular, do special events, live shows, and best of all, when you become a contributor at a dollar an episode or more, not only will you get your very own RSS feed, where you are able to hang out with us, not for this paltry hour and change that we do the regular show, but for twice the amount of time, you'll get the pre-show, the post-show, and all the action in between and more importantly when you contribute you will be eligible for <laughs> shit i wasn't ready for <laughs> <that>. <laughs> oh, no! oh! all right listen then I'll, I'll fill in with this uh uh if if you have never seen this show before or you are new to the show and you just watched a couple times go to patreon.com slash night attack Right now, just to see the video of 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 uh, a young Ladies chubby Brazilian and man gentlemen, is it's lesbian, time uh, friend. For the night attack, <laughs> new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of. It. <laughs> All right, man. We don't know where this contributor is. We know he's a fan of the show. We know he's probably uh, on a treadmill. Probably well, here. Hold on, wait, wait, here. Let let let's do a little uh, a little improv. Uh, uh, Bonnie, where it physically like like in his day or his or her day is this is this person? He is at the he, end of a commute. Hmm. He gets out of his car, hmm. and like he has the Bluetooth link <laughs> to his car, hmm. and he gets out and he's turned off the car, and then like. It's shut off, right? Yeah. So it's not playing. But but, so but he's but not then listening to us anymore. He's not listening, except he <laughs> steps out, and then all his friends are like, well, hello, sir, because they're all polite. And then all of a sudden, he hears his name being chanted, because his phone... Oh, that means I need to go to bed now. Because his, his phone kicks in accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> and what do his friends say, Bonnie? <laughs> and his friends are like, "Is that your new ringtone?" That's what they say. <laughs> well, and I then think. What does he say back? <laughs> I think all of that is true. I mean, never mind. Also, I was gonna do 
you a bit where I was going to go to Bonnie and then Mike and then Ashley and then Bonnie just wrote a beautiful novella. So here we go. Get ready for your new ringtone, Justin O'Brien. Justin O'Brien. Wait a minute. Hold on, time out. This motherfucker's name is your name and my name with an O between it. <laughs> Wait! You don't know what? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. No wonder he loves. I think <laughs> he is a real fan. He is definitely a real person. <laughs> Wait, though. here's what happened. <laughs> this, this, okay. It's, it's uh, all right. First of all, here's the thing. I think it's is e. is is the uh, <laughs> the this. This kid is eight years old and nope. had an indif- <laughs> indecisive parent who was a big fan of BB Live show. And they were like, oh, it's a beautiful baby boy. What do you want to name him? And you're like, I don't know, Justin O'Brien. <laughs> they changed his last name, too. They like, pick- like, your last name is Smith. Like, are you sure <laughs> you want to like- <laughs> write over your last name? Hey, man, you heard me. <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> All right, well, let's give it to him. Come on. It is Justin Justin. O'Brien. Hey, Justin. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Brian? 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 Justin. (laughs) Oh, Brian. Justin. 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 (laughs) O'Brien. Justin (laughs) O'Brien. Justin, 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 O'Brien. O'Brien makes me feel good. On Valentine's Day. Hey, we love you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course, if you adjust your pledge or pledge anew on any time between now and the next time we do a show, you make yourself eligible for the Night Attack name chant quarter. It's an hour. Let's get into the game. Uh, 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 how about this? It's uh, called uh, uh, I Said What. Brian, uh, how would you describe I Said What? Uh, first of all, you got to understand that Justin and I have become friends on the Internet. The majority of our friendship has been spent right here in front of your faces. And we've said a lot of stuff. Also, uh, we may uh, have a beverage from here and again. Also, pretty much all of Night Attack has always been a fever dream. And as a result, we're never entirely clear who said what and when. So as a result, you could take a, one of our best quotes, throw it right in our stupid faces, and neither of us will be entirely sure who said what. And normally, we argue about why we think it was me, Brian, or you, Justin, who said yep. a certain thing. But Valentine's Day came along, and all of a sudden, we have three competitors for... I said what <laughs> couples edition... And Mike TV. <laughs> <laughs> Mike TV's really uh, unicorn. Like, uh, all right. So uh, uh, we're going to get the quote just read to us yeah. by uh, uh, Bryce. And then uh, I guess uh, uh, w- w- uh, should we be. No, you you and I are, 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 are excused from this game. I think I think, you're, I think you're there are vi- three, oh. three competitors. Mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's our wives and Mike TV. Can I ask? So how so how did, did these quotes? How were these quotes found? Like, did you did you uh, like, are there people? Did you, did you uh, go? It was it was from fans and myself. OK. So, yeah. Points. So you, so you reached out. and You're like, All right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Interesting. OK, cool. OK. All right, well, how about this now. here? Brian, why don't we we don't have a vote? We we but we expertly just banter about sure. which, which one we think it sure. is, and then we're, we're, we're the think... commentators. We're, oh, because right, you guys are ESP, We're yeah. ESPN the Ocho, oh, right? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're ESPN eight. Yeah. Join us live for I said what championship ed- uh, uh, <clears throat> take two uh, championship edition of I said what featuring the spouses of two of the greatest podcasters never to matter in the world. It's Brian and Justin's wives. And Mike TV! <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to He Said What? <laughs> Someone from the chat room. Uh, this is, uh, let's, let's just go down, right down the list. Here we go. First quote. You know what would be hilarious? Is if somebody just busted a double butt cheek rumbling ass blast right now. <laughs> Who said it? <laughs> Well, Sorry. Uh, hold on, real quick. Uh, on behalf of everyone here, I'd like to ask: Could you please repeat the question? <laughs> you know what would be hilarious is if some is if someone just busted a double butt cheek rumbling ass blast right now. He said what? 
<laughs> Mike. All right. So wait. All right. So so they all guess, and then we make our our, yeah. our expert opinion. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Mike, do you think Brian or Justin said this? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to say it one more time, yeah, just yeah, please, to be yeah. oh, Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know what would be hilarious is is if someone just busted a double butt cheek rumbling ass blast right now. <laughs> he said what? Double butt cheek rumbling ass blast. Sunbun reminds us this is available now at Taco Bell. The double mean, that's, it's, such, <laughs> that's such a common phrase, though. How am I supposed to, you know? <laughs> I caught the kids saying it just the other day. <laughs> you know, how am I supposed to this is determine? Uh, <laughs> I will say that the problem with this game is that even if it was a thing that one of us said, we've been doing this for so long that Brian and I just naturally steal stuff from each other and yeah. work it into our lexicon. So a thing that Brian was saying six months ago, I'll say six months later, and I was, and vice versa. So there's really no way to know. And that's, and that, and and that's take your guess. And that's, yeah, that's that's exactly it. The thing is, because like, because I, I can imagine pers- like times where I could see both of you saying that. So. Uh... <laughs> All right, uh, let's. I'll go Justin. I'll say let's, let's. I'll say that one belongs to. All right, Mike says it's Justin. Bonnie, what do you think? Yeah, I I think we ought to let Mike go first. I think I like that every time. Oh no no, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. we're gonna change. Yeah, Mike has to change. But I'm gonna agree. That sounds so Justin to me. That sounds so Justin. It does. To you. That's so Justin. Well, that's let's go to the, so let's go to the Justin. Justin expert. All right, Ashley. You know that was my my original thought, it, 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 and only because that was what he said to me right before he said Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's so intuitive. I'm gonna go with Brian on this one. But, uh, Ashley's uh, gonna... All right, uh, uh, so go Justin. My... Real Thanks. quick. Uh, yeah, expert commentary. Yeah. This is a hard one. Because ass blast is so much more of a Brian phrase, mm-hmm. uh, but the obsession of how many and the violent nature of butt cheek <laughs> rumbling is is a me thing. So like, this this is a hard one. I, I, but I, I I think it's Brian. Uh, you are correct, and I can tell you why. No. And it has nothing to do with with the rest of it. I am uh, 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 the secret phrase is. Know what would be funny? Question mark. Mm. You yeah, would never ever true. say that. That is never ever a thing Justin says. Yeah, you it would. is something. Uh, I don't know, I but I'll say what. That. Let's let's go ahead like, and uh, let's, see the receipts. Take, that is that is. By the way, for the but, record, but, that is my go-to buy time maneuver. Is is to to like I've got a half-baked idea. I want to sort it out. I buy a little bit of time or oh, something like uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's check the tapes. This is from episode sixty-four. Dude, you know it'd be hilarious <laughs> is if somebody. <laughs> Just busted a double butt cheek rumbling ass blast right now. <laughs> <laughs> right on, well done. Uh, I believe. <laughs> I no, can't look believe. Look how funny it. I think it would be. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe you would say something like that, <laughs> Brian Brushwood. Yeah, I, I believe you were talking it's about. Uh, I, I, ch- I I saw. I, this is one of the points that I pulled. You were talking about. Doing meditation, do, like doing some sort of deep, oh, deep thinking. I got the giggles because we and were doing actually, meditation at, at the family reunion. Right. Oh. Yeah. And the the bit that you were describing actually was you were, you were meditating and then your Justin voice in your head <laughs> said, what if I interrupted oh. this? So, good game. Oh, wow. Uh, also, I was in the East Portland Motel right across the street from Jeff Davis's favorite strip club. In no kidding. That's right, that's right. Exactly. I know exactly where I was. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to our next round of He Said What? <laughs> By the way, you have unlimited permission to keep going back to that intro music. <laughs> All right. This is, uh, uh, here's the quote. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, did did you just suddenly become aware of where you were and what oh, we no, were doing? No, I, 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 the, the music, I think, like, it's like perfect. Like, it's... All, right. all right, all right, all right. Here it is. <laughs> well, thank you for enforcing the letter of the law, not the spirit. He said what? We started with Mike last time, Bonnie. Well, thank you for enforcing the letter of the law, but not the spirit. He said what? I gotta say, I think that sounds just in. Again. 
Yeah, and I'm going to play the odds. We went with the Brian quote first, so I'm going to say it's a Justin. So you're going to say it's a Justin? Yeah. All right, Ash. How, how is that playing the odds? That's not the way odds work. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, right. the question hey. doesn't care who came before it. <laughs> like, it's just, not like there's like like a bonus for picking Well, me I'm imagining the Brian. person the person putting it together is like, and now we got to do one here and then one for you. That's a great impression of me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Uh, also, by the way, you come into that with that idea to a Mikey quiz, he is going to shred you. Oh, yeah, no, oh, no, 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 apart. Mikey. Yeah, no, I didn't know who did, <laughs> okay, I didn't know who did right. this quiz. I didn't know who did this quiz. All right, so. uh, uh, Ashley, he said what? So, I mean, this feels like a simple Southern lawyer thing. Uh, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Justin, though. All right, Mike. Can, can I hear the quote again? Yeah, you can hear it one more time. Uh, well, thank you for enforcing the letter of the law and not the spirit. Thank you for enforcing the letter of the law and not the spirit. Uh, can I get a can I get a clue? You, <laughs> can, I, can, I, can, I, can I call a can I call a friend? Can I Heron? You can call Herring. <laughs> Heroin. Heroin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can call Brian right next to you if yeah. you need advice. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Justin on this one too. I'm gonna say Justin. All right. So this is definitely me. This is the story of when I was in the Austin uh, ah! uh, Bergstrom Airport, yep. and I uh, was given a <laughs> I was I was given uh, two tickets because I was trying to fly standby, <laughs> but they did not print TSA pre on my standby ticket, and because the asshole. Uh, at TSA, who I had previously done nothing but mock Brian for his battles with Austin <laughs> TSA. I just relentlessly mocked Brian uh, and his by, big by, by the way, uh, not only did you mock Brian, who always opts out and goes through the most difficult checkout line of whatever, you've also repeatedly touted the fact that, that, that you were uh, global uh, entry and you never, ever, ever got it, had to go through the scanner or get patted never down. Never a problem for me. I don't know why it's such an issue for you. So uh, uh, I I had uh, all of my hubris thrown right back in my face in the face of, with the one pernicious TSA uh, employee. And let's see the clip. This is from episode 73. Uh, and I said, uh, well, thank you for enforcing the letter of the law, not the spirit. <laughs> and that's. Uh, which, by the way, Justin is normally uh, incredibly chill in those kind of situations. This was a rare occurrence where he, you know, felt the need to speak truth to power. And by the way, power being a somebody making twelve dollars an hour. Oh yeah, power being I meekly took my ticket and took my shoes off and <laughs> yeah. went through TS regular TSA. Like it was, oh god, it was the, one of the more emasculating times. But it was also you know, like, like in that moment, what what I was embarrassed about was not me backing down, but more that I didn't have a better uh, a, a better parting shot at the chubby TSA person. I had to resort to oh, thanks for enforcing this, the letter of the law, and not the spirit. Hey, real quick, real quick, I had a moment at the TSA. Um. You know, I've 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 talked. <laughs> have I told you? I have I told those. you about my new favorite pants? <laughs> it's one where <laughs> the button got stressed enough that it popped out, <laughs> and they're really comfortable now <laughs> because there's no button on it. <laughs> and uh, doesn't and so, that just mean you need to go up a waist size? Like this so, is just. <laughs> I mean, I do, I do. I need to buy new pants. This sounds I, like I, such a Gen Y I, thing. And, and so, and so, but but I refuse to, right? So so uh, like you know, if I'm going to be on stage, I'll wear the pants with the button on it. But if I'm in the house, the belt's good enough. <laughs> you have two pairs of pants. <laughs> Two that fit properly. WPR. Right uh, <laughs> and so, how, how is that? A, that's literally the opposite no, of a WPR No, 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 no. That's how he gets so much disposable income. Cut the pants budget, people. You only need two. <laughs> so, so I did not get TSA pre on my way from. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to say it was it was Tampa up to New York. Um, oh, okay, yeah. And, and so I'm wearing the pants without the button on it. Uh, and so I have to take everything off. I have to take off my belt. I have to take off my shoes and all that stuff. And then, of course, I opt out of the scanner uh, because I'm like a, 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 I don't know, an Amish person or a Mennonite. And so, um, and so they go to scan me, and the guy, the guy, the guy pats me all up at the front, all off the back. And of course, they stick their fingers in the inside of your waist, and then they they, yeah, they yeah, run yeah, around. Yeah. Well, normally you have a button. 
that stops Vince, anything yeah. interesting from happening. But instead, this guy sticks his finger and whoops around, and my, my fucking fly just goes, zomp! <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's just face to face with my with my uh, tight boxer brief yeah, 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 <laughs> junk yeah, yeah. right in front of him. Yeah. Uh, I derived a lot of pleasure from that moment. And you know that he's like, Airport oh, pants. not again. What are these, <laughs> what are these goddamn perverts? <laughs> well, and, the guy, and the guy was just like, oh, whoa, oh, oh. and, and I, as slowly as I can allow myself to do, I'm like, ah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, this happens all the time, man. No, <laughs> and Brian just makes solid eye contact that says, take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Round three. Of he said what? All right, guys. <laughs> Ashley. Old snake dick brushwood at it again, pulling his old dick jakes. You know we don't allow wildlife in the cabin. <laughs> Where can I go? That's it. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on the motherfucking plane. <laughs> oh man! All right, here is your. He said what? Ashley, you're going first. Mm. Great, great, hey, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's a great bit, guys. This is going great. Hilarious. Stop me if I'm wrong. It's not that it's necessarily a racist term, right? <laughs> oh Jesus! This could be anyone. Oh my God! It's a wide open field. Uh, can Can you repeat the? <laughs> Stop me if I'm Question? wrong. Stop me if I'm wrong. It's not that it's necessarily a racist term, right? And this is only yeah, me or yeah, Justin? Like, there's yeah, no yeah, chance this yeah. was Bonnie or... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Bonnie an option? No, Bonnie no, no, is not no, an option. Just, just being Brian. It's... By the way, whoever it is, I'm going to go ahead and put up a $50 bounty of finding the other person saying this as well. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. positive that we both said it. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is actually probably. Oh, why do I get the hard ones? Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Because it's Valentine's now. Day, baby. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, geez, they're they're right. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ashley. We, we didn't. There was only uh, one person who could make that okay, and it was Justin's <laughs> reaction. Thank you. <laughs> In the butt! <laughs> Neil Gaiman's back! Hey, Neil Gaiman, what are you doing here? All right. Ashley. Uh, I, I, I think it's Hank, final answer. <laughs> All right, calm that's down. Justin. Oh, that's Justin, all right. Uh, yeah. Mike, who do you think said that? He said uh, what? Uh, I, I'm going to say Brian on this one. You're going to say Brian, all right. I think, I think yeah. Uh, Bonnie. Can you repeat the quote? Sure. <laughs> Stop me if I'm wrong. It's not that it's necessarily a racist term, right? Oh. Mm. Uh, I think it's Justin. I'm going to say Justin. You too. think it's Justin? All right, I do. Brian, what I would, the only clue here. Is stop me if I'm wrong. Yep. No. Nope. It, it smells of neurosis. It feels like a Brian quote to me. Oh, oh I that's see. why I was kind of leaning towards that because oh. of right. some. I do say it part. a lot. No, no, no. Just like because I, I, I do not. I think that's the only clue. But I do not know enough of of, of of which way it points. I just know that it is a prefix. Although if I were to have to guess, I'd say Brian. Yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, this is from episode eighty-eight. Here, here we go. But yeah, sure, uh, Jaime, you know? Jaime, yeah. uh, uh, stop me if I'm wrong. Oh. It's not that it's necessarily a racist term, right? It, there you what, go. What were we talking about? You guys were talking about It this... was uh, Huera, Huera. Huera. Oh, oh, uh, this uh, was Bonnie's uh, uh, story. Huera. Oh, oh, Bonnie oh, Cotto said it. Oh, yeah. No, it was Weta. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weta. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? Isn't that the way you say it? Yeah, Weta. Yeah. So that's uh, uh, Bonnie and Ashley got that one. Yeah. All right. Everybody, let's uh, next time we hear the music, it's all in the shoulders, okay? Just, mm -hmm. just, just, just uh, mm -hmm. head stays still. Get, get ready. All right, here we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. 
<laughs> Here's your gift. Clip it! While he's, he's off camera doing it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Uh, 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 where is it? Ashley, you Curtis, 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 Curtis LaRock in the chat what? just says, Why? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I'm sorry, because that's fucking rhythm is a dancer, right? Like the, the family feud theme. If there's ever permission to white dance, it's the family feud theme. <laughs> All right, here it is. Uh, Mike, you're going to answer first. The, that metaphor does not hold. You would have had to have sex with that cow to death. <laughs> he said, What? <laughs> That metaphor does not hold. Justin, what are we doing with our lives, man? <laughs> what what, what way, is this? This is always where this uh, where this game ends. This game starts with, oh my god, what hilarious things out of context. And then by the fifth one, we're like, we could have been doctors. <laughs> like, <laughs> president, astronauts, like, we, we go math. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh my gosh. I do got to say that 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 like Penny was really inspired. She's like, well, if Trump can be president, <laughs> anybody can. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Anybody can. Maybe and I can be president. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. And the chat room says fucking cows and taking names. It's to Mike. <laughs> it's to All Mike. Right, uh, which, can I hear the quote again? Yeah. That what metaphor does not hold. You would have had to have sex with that cow to death. <laughs> What is the metaphor? <laughs> is this Brian or Justin? What Justin's? common metaphor is this even like? <laughs> well, why Aging fuck Dr. the cow when you can get the death for free? Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Brian. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Brian. You're gonna say Brian. All right, uh, Bonnie, you're up. I say it's Brian. Bonnie is also saying Brian. Mm -hmm. Ashley. God, this is hard. <laughs> this is a hard game. You guys play this game a lot? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they do it by themselves, though. Just each other. Like, Joy, who said? <laughs> <laughs> Only we, may, we say new things. I say it right there, and I'm like, which one of us just said that? <laughs> <laughs> you get really fucking tanked. That game is awesome when you're just fucking hammered. Who just said this? <laughs> oh, can, can you repeat the statement one more time? One more time. Just that Fair. metaphor does not hold. You would have had to have sex with that cow to death. <laughs> <laughs> I keep putting a little, a little bit of a New Yorker. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of a little bit of a stank on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here! Hey, I'm oh, fucking oh, this cow oh. here, everybody. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna fuck it to yeah. death, eh? Hey. It's hey. not your death. Hey. That good. metaphor doesn't hold. <laughs> ah, you would have had to fuck that cow to death, eh? <laughs> I'm walking here. Can you, Does like, it look dead? Does it look dead? It's not that. Not dead. Can you turn that into a Billy Joel song? Fucking John Stocks, right? <laughs> Van Gundy, fuck you. You had to fuck the cow to death. <laughs> I want to say it's Brian, but I'm also gonna. I'm gonna go against the grain. I'm going with you, honey. Hey, uh -oh. uh, by the way, you guys want a clue? This is a commentator to commentator. Uh, one more time. Read, read it. Read the quote. Sure. That metaphor does not hold. You would have had to have sex with that cow to death. So somebody who spoke those words would be speaking to someone yeah, who yeah. made a metaphor. Yeah. Which so one of the two of us <laughs> loves metaphors? Loves metaphors. I mean, I, I, I don't think it's out of either of our repertoires, though. Okay, I, right. one of us, one of us has a problem with metaphor, one with making does too have many a metaphors. Very serious metaphor issue. One this of us is yes. Uh, only one of us has made. Uh, a, 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 a part of the DNA of this show jumping on the other one's metaphors. I will say that that's... Darmak! That, that, that at Tanagra! <laughs> All right, this is from episode 107. Here we go. What's your gilded animal? And now food, it's right? food. You're just rubbing... You're gonna right. eat them? I mean, if you bought a steak and you wrapped your genitals, wrapped it around your no, genitals... No, 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 no. This no. metaphor does not hold. <laughs> you would have had... To have sex with that cow to death, <laughs> and then be like, no, "It's wait. Justin." Oh Jesus! Oh, wow. How is the rest of the game. metaphor breakdown? I, I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, it wasn't even a metaphor. Who saw that coming? I was just talking about <laughs> wrapping a, a steak? steak on my dick. <laughs> what?
<laughs> Listen, this there's more questions show. than answers here. I feel like we're just <laughs> dropping into these alternate timelines and have no idea what's happening. All right, keep it coming. Right. Right. Can, can, I say, can I say something here really yeah, quick? Yeah, please. So Do far, I've, I've, I've got 100% yeah. right. You know what this tells me about our marriage? What? Is the thing that you hate? What? Is you are so fucking predictable. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Big talk. Wow. Right now, feel real good. Big talk. I, right. Hey, uh, jumping in, <laughs> let me say somebody called me Steak Dick Brushwood just now. Hey. That's funny. Hey. <laughs> no? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, steak Dick. <laughs> steak Dick. <laughs> That's it. I'm tired of these motherfucking steaks. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here's the next. He said, What? My son's a racist. Oh. This is oh, going to wow. be Bonnie Okay, first. this is what? a this is a curious one. What? Especially since neither of you have sons. I know. My son's a racist. Oh my oh, goodness! It's, it's, I, I can I can. Anyway. Are we ready to reveal so, our secret I racist son? Can... <laughs> <laughs> so this is Bonnie. This is Bonnie first. Bonnie. Jeez. My son's a racist. <sighs> hmm. And and. I can't gameplay here. Like no. it's been Justin no a little theory. bit. There's no, and I know it's exactly. Bryce. I, I'm telling you, you're chasing now. down the wrong rabbit hole. I know. Like I aspire yeah. to be as good as Mikey. So yeah. I know, I know. So that kind of screws everything up. Let me see. My son is a racist. My son's a racist. Hmm. <laughs> be funny. She's like <laughs> trying to stare me down right off now. The <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm giving you the blind eye stare, too, which is even worse because I don't get any information from it. So, My son's a racist. Bob. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's Brian. You're going to say it's Brian, all right. Uh, Ashley, my son's a racist. I'm just trying to think which one of your parents would have called you racist. Yeah, yeah that's, um, that's going to. I, I feel like it's a coin toss for me, so I'm going Brian. You're going to go with Brian, all right, and Mike. So, all right, well, then just for coverage, I'll go Justin. There's two Brians and one Justin. Yeah, right? right. Justin O'Brien? The game theory, <laughs> the game theory has spread, Brian. Yeah, so. uh, this sorry. studio has become infected. <laughs> hey, uh, Justin, I get the strong impression that, uh, oh, shit, well. Mm. Uh, no, this is obvious. Okay, number one, my wife. If we're asking which of the two fathers would have called them racist, there's only one person in this group who had a number one comedy album that involved a story of his father calling him a racist. Right, which is what I thought at first as well, but then I realized none of these have been from the album. All of these have been from the last year or two of Night Attacks, yep. which, which means... Oh. Which means I would say that that although yes, there definitely is a track on Night Attack Two where where you reenact your father saying, "Son's a, rape, a racist." <laughs> Sorry, oh, wrong wrong ah, 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 that's that's how you know we've gotten full to old Custer. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, but uh, but I feel like I feel like I might have been kind of quoting that vibe or that v moment. So interesting. Mm. I actually do. I feel like I have a memory of you just in a big. A grand way, bounding, a bounding grand gesture. My son's a racist. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you want to know? I think this might be from Ghost Dad, and I think this might be you. I think this might be you uh, uh, filling Quoting in you. the end of the yeah. story. All right. That's because when I first this, someone pulled this. I, I I couldn't remember exactly why anybody would say this, but this is from Ghost Dad, episode forty-seven. Crazy. Here mm. we go. Son's a racist. Yeah. I can't believe uh, it. <laughs> then went to go wake up my brother. Uh, he woke. It is up. Brian. I, it's yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. me oh, quoting yeah, your yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is which is which is. Wow, wow. Tricky, guys. By the way, if we have any new family members uh, for the uh, for Night Attack, go to nightattack.tv. Check out the episode called Ghost Wait, Dad. Like, that's that's pretty much 40. the gospel. Did I get that one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah uh, one. Oh, no, no. Mike, you said it was Justin. Oh, that's yeah. right. You're right. You're you said right. it was okay, just Bonnie yeah. and Ashley. You, 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 you outthought yourself and tried yeah, to get Yeah, no, no. I was just, Funny I enough, was just, I was just I trying to like. I read my table wrong, and I thought it was Justin this oh. entire time, too. All right. Um, uh, by the way, a lot of chatter in the chat uh, saying that it was my black son that I was talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sign. Uh, right? you know, you know, sign the... is alive and well. He's over in the Diamond Club chat over at diamondclub.tv. The, right right the funny thing is, is, is that this is, I know this feels like a game now, but if we just fast forward 30 or 40 years, we'll be doing this just to remember what, like, like. Wait, no, wait. Remember, Last then, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, as wait, long no, as it's no, a game, no, air yeah, quotes, yeah, 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 it's yeah. fine, yeah. 
Okay. All right. Next, <laughs> next round. Woo! All right. What what is the what is the the score now? Right now it is Ashley at five, Bonnie at three, Mike at one. Good thing it's triple point round. <laughs> <laughs> it's triple point round right oh, now. It's true. Oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> three rules. Black people can love mayo too. Don't repeat a question and start with "Hi guys, love the show." <laughs> he said what? Oh my god! Three rules. Oh my Three god. rules. Black oh people can god. love mayo too. Don't repeat a question and start with "Hey, hi guys, love the show." Oh my god! Uh, we're starting oh my with. Gosh, that's amazing. I believe we're starting with Ashley on this one. Ashley, well, this, is, this is tough because we know that Justin thinks mayo's the devil's ejaculate. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I I can agree with that. By the way, Justin, that's a Mayo's fine. Absolute truth. Uh, Shut uh, the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Three rules: Black people can love mayo too. Don't repeat a question and start with "Hi guys, love the show." Kozra uh, says Justin hates mayo but loves racial, racial equality. equality. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. You know what? I I don't even know for this one. I'm gonna go Brian. You're going to go with Brian. All right, uh, Mike. Oh, man. Look, can I hear it one more time? One more time. I'm, I'm all right, all right. Three rules. Black people can love mayo, too. Don't repeat a question and start with hi, guys, love the show. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you do that again with a British accent for oh, me? Oh, goodness. This is oh. more. Ju- can you do it yeah, more yeah, justin Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here, <laughs> let's hear you read it as can Justin you, yeah, and yeah, as yeah, Brian. Yeah, read it as Justin. Just, just, just read it as Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. First, as, right. first yeah, as Justin. First as Justin. justin. Right, right. Yeah, first as Justin. Thank you. Me, 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 me. Three rules. <laughs> no, I was doing the hand thing that I do when I'm Brian. Hulk too. Hogan. Yes. No. All right. Give it. Let me tell you something, brother. Black people can love mayo too. Uh, three rules. Black people can love mayo too. Don't repeat a question and start with "Hi guys, love the show." And My, how, how how would Brian say it? Three rules. <laughs> Black people can love mayo too. Don't repeat a question and start with "Hi guys, love the show." <laughs> <laughs> Not John Stossel. <laughs> the, gov- the government says black people can love mayo too. Oh. The government can like mayo too. Oh my god! And I almost went changed my answer after that. <laughs> Mike, do you think this is Brian or Justin? Uh, I'll, I'll go Based Brian. off of that historically <laughs> accurate I'll reference, go Brian. you're gonna go with Brian. Yeah. All right, Bonnie. Uh, you know, Brian is so obsessed with rules and stuff about like the game. Like, we're playing the game, and you got to do the, you know, game, old game theory brushwood. Yeah, but then I, I, I can GT. see. That's it. I'm tired of these motherfucking games on this. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see Justin like tidying up a whole segment, and I remember the segment because I believe it was a caller, like or somebody like called in and was just like, "Yeah, but I like mayo," and then they were like, "Wait." You like mayo? Like, you're not supposed to like mayo. I don't know. Something like that. So, what is, so what's, your what's your answer? answer? <laughs> <laughs> you showed your work, but I don't know that you wrote the final stuff. <laughs> I don't know, John, that you gave us a number we yet. We like the rationale. We like the reasoning. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say it's Brian, but it might be Justin. Oh, uh, no, 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 you can't get half uh, points Brian. for getting half. <laughs> it's Brian, but Especially it might be the Justin. It's Brian. <laughs> it's Brian. Write that on your Brian math test. In, in I feel like, like it's 24. <laughs> it could be 22 <laughs> remainder two. All okay, right. Okay, I'm going to say it. It's Brian. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hey, oh. Justin. Yeah. What's what's your read on this? Because this is on, a, on, you, on the, on the one hand, studio. I do love rules, but I'm also uncomfortable bringing... You're much more comfortable bringing race into it than I am. If it's... If it's brazenly and recklessly bringing up race, it's probably me, like, as a general rule. Although, what I don't know is whether or not it was, like, what rule was being added on. Because I'm almost positive this was a call-in bit where uh, where people were calling in and we had rules and we just kept adding to the rules. And I don't know whether or not it was – I initially brought up the black people liking mayo thing and then – it was say hello when you first come on or the, whatever with the thing that you were repeating. Yeah, this feels like to me a get the show back on track maneuver, which is usually my angle. 
Uh, and it sounds like I'm summarizing something you said. It would yeah. be my guess. All right, well. I think that it's a Brian line, yeah. This is from episode 40. Here we go. All right, here we go. You ready right, for Fuck this? you. All right, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one time I called in and I totally just didn't do the rules. <laughs> <laughs> you do a great pop. <laughs> All right, here great, we go. Great, He's great. back on the horse. Right. Back on the horse. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Caller, you're on the air. Hang on, I'm in. Hang God on, I'm damn in. it. Holy <laughs> <I'm in>. shit. <laughs> There's one <laughs> fucking rule outside of the other fucking rule. There are two rules. We There's have only two, two rules. rules. <laughs> Three rules. Black people could love mayonnaise oh. too. Oh. Don't repeat a question. Jesus. And right. start man, with that was a re- that show. was a real I nail biter, man! Yeah. Right down oh to the wire. God. Yeah. Okay, so what, so <laughs> everybody got it wrong. So everybody got it. Everyone wrong. said Brian. Wow. wow. I, I didn't, I didn't, oh, I, wow. I believe th- Wait, plus I wrote it down. He initiated the uh, the rules starting though. We were right in that. So just know, just logic. know, whom, whomever I choose, yeah. just go the opposite. <laughs> you're, you're, gonna be, you're gonna be totally fine. Gonna everybody, go. wow, what what an outthinking yourself position. Yeah. When, uh, when when it was somebody brazenly bringing up phrase and <laughs> nobody <laughs> picked me. You know the the funny thing is is like I actually knew that I had guessed wrong as soon as Bryce did the high pitched but Ryan voice. Oh, oh that, that didn't, didn't sound, sound natural. natural. No way. Didn't sound natural. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Uh, we have a lot of them if you it. want to keep going. Wait, yeah, all right. All, all this the is points it. don't mean anything. Congratulations. You guys have all reached the million point <laughs> question. Oh, this is the the last question is worth a million wow. points. All right. <laughs> all right. Here it is. <laughs> this is a giant lie like the Holocaust and global warming. <laughs> Justin is standing up and okay. walking away. Well, I'm uh... going to go to the bathroom for a little bit. I'll be right back. Have a good time, people. All right. Uh, Are you guys going to go start use with... your bidets? I believe this is starting with Mike. I'm like, this is a giant lie like the Holocaust. Yo, I'm not trying to PewDiePie myself right now. I'm just going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is a giant lie like the Holocaust and, and what? And global warming. And global warming. Who, whose turn is it? It's Mike. Mike's Mike's mm-hmm. turn off. Mike. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I can repeat this it again. Lie, like the, yeah, this please. is a giant. This is in all caps. I have to say. Uh, yeah. This is a giant lie, like the Holocaust and global warming. Can I? Can I get a? Can I get a Justin and a Brian read on it? Oh, you? oh boy. Yeah, thank you. Part part of the problem is that all of both of my impressions for both of them is just yelling. No, that's right. It that's helps. right. Just that's do right. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it helped. It, it, like, you know, yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Here's uh, here, here's like, here's <laughs> Justin. All right, this is a uh, uh, this is me doing Justin doing accent and so on. This is a giant lie, like the Holocaust and global warming. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's I, all that's, right. That's, okay. That's, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then Brian. And then this is a giant lie, like the Holocaust and global warming. <laughs> oh man, that's so a little, a little, a little too. Fucking much. Roger Rabbit! What the fuck? <laughs> Please. Please. I'm gonna say like, what's this bullshit of doing it earnestly both times? <laughs> because no, hey, I'm no. pretty sure we, oh, oh, e- we either one of us didn't mean it earnestly. <laughs> what we've been doing totally wrong is we should have Justin and Brian say the lines. We have you oh, say like, the like lines. a lineup. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yes, oh, oh, give man. me the keys. You, you what, fucking too bad we already got through this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, it's uh, still might. Should have done turn. that. I don't know what I'm thinking. Wait a second. Um. Uh. Uh. Holocaust, global warming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would love to think people are showing up for the first time I, on the show right now. I, I, <laughs> Just this to is a, see this you maybe ruminating on those words. This is maybe a tough one for new people. Holocaust, global warming. They're clicking through right, for Mama, entertainment. I like it. I like this. I like where this, I like where this show is going. Uh, I, I'm going to go Justin. I'm You're going to go with yeah, Justin. Yeah, All right. Yeah. So the, obviously it's going to be Brian. That's what I'm telling you. All the okay, other no, no, yeah. none of you. You none of you get to hedge. That's the point of making a no, decision. No, 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 I'm not hedging. I'm not hedging. I'm just okay. saying that, that, all right. that, that all right. historically. All right. All right. So you're saying it is Justin. Mike. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes. Bonnie. Can I hear it in the impression of our neighbor? The, I don't know your neighbor. neighbor? <laughs> no, you know the the guy that that goes to the same liquor store and he has the conspiracy. Oh, Alex theory. Jones. Alex Jones. Thank you. Oh, oh, Alex. Alex. You hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, time out. Time out. 
of all the ways to describe <laughs> Alex Jones, <laughs> your brain failing to access his name comes up with our neighbor. The guy that was right next door. I mean, I did run into him at the liquor store oh, and hey, again awesome. at Blazer Tag. Okay, okay, but like there are. I mean, we do run really, into each other a lot. That didn't happen. We all live in the same complex, like the Golden Girls or anything, right? Like Austin's a big city. I mean, though, if he is your neighbor, this is something he would say. It would be. It would be. Bonnie. Yeah. There are conjurers afoot. They are eating fire. <laughs> and sticking and the nails in their, their eyes. eyes. It's got to pop. It's got to pop. It's not <laughs> popping. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. This is... <laughs> we need an answer, Bonnie. This is a giant lie like the Holocaust and global warming. <laughs> I'm going to say Brian. Blazer tag, get metal steel beams. They use it for red light. <laughs> All right. Bonnie says Ash. Brian. Ash. All right. Um. Can I can I hear it one more time? Is John Stossel? As, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you know I got it. It's the only way to be sure. That sounds uh, just like Brian, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, the government says this is a giant lie, like the Holocaust <laughs> and global warming. Oh, I think you nailed ah! it. That's gotta be it. Ah, uh, but which <laughs> Stossel? Can I hear it again? <laughs> <the end? laughs> Say again. Can you hear it as the ad dragon? Oh. <laughs> I don't do the... Okay. I can. Okay. Hey, y'all. This is just a giant lie. Like Holocaust or global warming. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting so many clean takes of this wild line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really I'm going to go jury. You're going to go with Justin? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So there is almost zero chance this is Brian. Um... I don't know. There's actually, I think, a decent chance specifically because one of my favorite bits on Saturday Night Live was when they did an infomercial and like uh, oh, a Oh, was that Kim in, Basinger? They, they slipped in. We were like, oh, and sometimes you use chamois and they don't clean everything up. They're just a giant lie like the Holocaust. Caller, you're on the air. Yeah. Like, like, like that sliding it in I always oh, thought was really funny. Oh. So I might have been pinching that bit. Interesting. Oh. All right. Well, uh, here we... uh, uh, here's all I'll say. Is that in general? Wow, these were all in person episodes, too. Wow. Uh, apparently, that's when we say the weird shit is when we're in the same room together. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing that it's the two of us in studio, those are the ones where, where especially because you're in the driver's seat, I tend to, to play the kooky a little role. wild. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in general, this will definitely be a rarer pull if, if this line is said by Brian. But uh, uh, I, I'm up. The money is still on me. All I know is that normally when there's the after show call where we, we rehash the successes and failures of the episode, there's usually only one person who brings up things like, like, hey, by the way, we should watch what we say and when we say it because sometimes there's repercussions for our actions. And there's usually one person who reacts with, man, whatever, bro, YOLO. We're all just making comedy, right? Like, everything is without consequence until everything's ruined. Man, I, I really wonder which one of us is which in that scenario. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is also from episode 73. Here we go. That's ready. It was about this Let time. Let me go ahead and help, help you discovered. out. <laughs> Brian and Jerry read this one last. It's from California Carl. All right, you got it. Did you know that there are people who keep the wonders of chat room and Diamond Club going behind the scenes? Bullshit. Time again for the credits. This is a giant lie like the Holocaust and global warming. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I oh win. My God. I win. Oh, my God. I win. Oh, my God. Oh. Do Bo you believe in miracles? <laughs> Bonnie got the million point wow. question. Yay! I can't believe wow. it. <laughs> Congratulations, Bonnie Rushwood. You win. He said what? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Final score, I take Gamer it. Girl. <laughs> five, five. My TV won. One, one million and three. <laughs> my TV won. That was an important one, though. I got the important one. <laughs> <laughs> I got the one that mattered. The one that counted. Uh, hey, Justin, you want to do a little bit of diamond time? Uh, well, hey, listen, uh, it ain't a lie. Like, the, 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 the turning the frickin' frogs gang. 
<laughs> diamondclub.reddit.com is where you can post your projects so that we can shout you out right here on the air of course we are a community of live loud and independent podcasters and wonderful people of all stripes and varieties including people who make jokes about the holocaust um <laughs> if you head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com you'll notice a sticky post right up at the top go ahead and shout out your project and the top three will be shouted out right here live on the air just like Including Arachnid in Bethlehem. Hello, DC people. I just finished a goal I'd set for myself last year. Wanted to draw something every day for the entire year. 366 days. Okay. Uh, I finished today because uh, of a lame accident in which I broke my drawing arm in late September. Ended up losing around 40 days because of that. I had to make it up this year. It's not a normal project that I did to get viewers or make money. I've just spent uh, my life quitting things. So I thought a large challenge, sorry, Justin, this was not a micro challenge, uh, would be good for me. I'm not a good artist by any means, but I thought it'd be cool to share uh, this with a community that I enjoy being a part of, the quietest member probably. The link is yolo420.com slash 366PIC swag, pick swag. Uh, and uh, or you can go to yola420.com slash green swag. I think I deeply adore how, um, I guess, uh, low fidelity, honest, they look like doodles. Um, they, they, they look like, uh, they look like they had a limited amount of time dedicated to them, and as a result, they all feel honest in a way that I. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking like at a fart. butt farting. It's a brain, brain fart. It's a brain oh, it's a brain fart. fart. Brain okay. Fart. No, but I like the idea that it's a butt farting out of the butt's butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's a mole man. Wow, these are these are, these cool. are wonderful. Butt. Check them out. Getting Santa. Farted by my butt. Or what's that? Uh, yeah, 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 it's a Chuck Tingle novel. Yeah, uh, that's really truthfully. Can, can I just interject real quick? Uh, just... No, absolutely awesome, man. YOLO420.com slash 366. Those are the numbers 366. P-I-C-S-W-A-G. 366. Pick swag. What was that, Mike? I was just gonna say, if you if you just keep doing that, dude, just just do a, a drawing every single day. You'll you'll discover in a very short time that, that, that yeah, you could go higher than yeah 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you yeah. could do many but, many drawings. But those yeah those I mean yeah the thing is is that like yeah you can you can actually do something with it that's that's yeah just keep doing it man it looks awesome you're doing really well. Uh, next up, keep doing it. Uh, for some reason the second most voted item <clears throat> is Beef Viper who says. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Beef. Man, I'll tell you what. A bold a bold backing up of Adele winning the Grammy over Beyonce. Shocking <laughs> political statement by Beef Viper. Uh, Bad Weave says, shameless plug. Nothing more than a Diamond Club fanboy here. Check out www.whitepeoplerich.com. I want to be a living, breathing site where people can continue to enrich lives with important information about how to be WPR. Submit your real-life examples, stories, and pictures oh of gosh. WPR and share oh the, so the site God. and the Diamond Club love. Oh, my God. Um, Wow! Yeah. Did you see the manatee? Uh, no, oh no! Is there is there a manatee? Yeah, you gotta Harambe? go back. You go wait yeah, oh, one more back. So there's like a whole gallery of photoshops of these guys. <laughs> oh jeez! Oh, <laughs> the manatee with the flying V yeah. guitar. This is, this is the one that they don't want you to see. Yeah. Right, right. Oh right. yeah, the one that Crystal River doesn't want mm. you to see. <laughs> so white people uh, rich. And of course. Home. Uh, we have a tiny shutter who says, hi, Diamond Club. I'm Mark Sadowski. Been a fan since the NSFW days. Do you like iPhone photography? Then I want to promote my YouTube channel and podcast that I do with a good friend called Tiny Shutter. I especially want to promote the YouTube channel because I've got to live my dream and do photography in a wilderness segment called Chasing Landscapes. Well, I'm new to producing video. I'm proud of the production value. Head on over to youtube.com slash tiny shutter and listen to the tiny shutter podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, or any podcasting device. Or uh, you can go to youtube.com slash tiny shutter. Right on. Uh, Diamondclub.reddit.com is the place to be. Meanwhile, we're going to be checking out the Night Attack movie winter movie draft corner hour. <laughs> I was ready. I'm trying to for Welcome you to Minute Presented by Cosmic Radio.tv for the week of February 13th, 
Oh, pause, 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 pause real quick, real quick. I did, I did a terrible thing. <laughs> Bryce very obviously had the video queued up and was ready to go. <laughs> and I, like an asshole, acted as though I was stalling for him to be ready. And the whole time he's just like, I'm ready to go. Just just toss to the clip. And I'll hit the clip and we're ready to go. But then it became funny to me to wait later and later. I'm sorry. Uh, let's do that again. All right, here we go. Let's check Welcome out the movie drop minute. Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of February. 13th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. Happy Valentine's Day, people, but who did the draft gods bestow love upon today? Let's check the scoreboard and find out. Mikey Newman's in sixth place with Lego Batman movie bringing in $53 million, bringing his total to $216.1 million. Chris Gates is in fifth place with $292.6 million. Longo AE is in fourth place with $195.9 million. Josh Trump Young's in third place with $432.5 million. Brian Brushwood still in second place with 50 Shades Darker bringing in $46.6 million a week. And John Wick Chapter 2 bringing $30.4 million a week, bringing his total to $634.6 million. And in first place, whopping $705.6 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your Movement Minute for the week of February 13th, 2017. Dude, I still so, have... So you have, do you have anything else before Logan? Uh, no, oh, but, 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 but well, last week I had two premieres. I had yeah. Fifty Shades Darker and uh, oh, what was the other one? John Wick Gold? Chapter Two. Mm. All right. Uh, and John Wick Chapter Two is apparently doing really, really well. Fifty Shades Darker has already pulled in fifty million. Uh, so I have whatever's left in the tank of those two movies, which it sounds like they'll have legs. Yeah, yeah. So this is over, brother Nero. You got this one, huh? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, Logan is going to crush it. I, oh, because, I, okay. because All right. Now, DTNS doesn't have anything. Oh, yeah. Anything. No, no, no. They're out, I, they got, I mean, they got uh, one. Brian, we got, I got to buy you a fucking steak at South by then. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to do the family feud song dance. My shoulders are going up and down. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> That's how ostentatiously that fucking song starts out with. <laughs> you see pulling it at any time, and it's either the banjo or the big fucking horns. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. No. Um. So, question. I think the interesting yeah. question here is, uh, side bet. Side bet. Um. Uh, steak bets resolved. Let's talk about garlic mashed potatoes. Let's bet a side dish of garlic mashed potatoes <laughs> on. <laughs> Who's going to be closest to what Logan's going to make? Logan's going to do $235 million in the first four weeks. Or the first four, 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 weeks. Weeks. Oh, first, first, four, first four, first four weeks. weeks. So that's so 240. So that you're saying 60 million. Well, 80 million the opening week. No, yeah, because it would and have then, to open close yeah. to 75. Yep. Yeah. Or 80, it's going right? to open huge. Yeah. It's going to be it's going to be 235. That's my number. That's my number. I mean. I, yeah, I, I mean, it, it definitely looks like a great movie. It's getting great reviews. So wait, are you People... setting that as an as an over under? No, that's me making my pick. Uh, you 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 throw the dart where you see the action. Oh, one dollar. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> although I guess if you're gonna be an ass, it would be oh. two hundred thirty four million dollars. Yeah, yeah, no, well, yeah, is it no, closer? No, or are we playing? Yeah, like we'll, we'll, we'll right play rules. prices right rules. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. So, so this is an over under then. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. No, yeah, it, I mean, if I can pick one dollar, I'm effectively like, thinking that it's going to be under the number that Brian's picked. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I, I don't think I, 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 I don't think it will. Only because, again, those those last few Wolverine movies weren't good. So I, I think the movie will be great. I think it will overperform expectations. I just don't think it's going to open like a big X Men movie. Right on. Uh, how, how much did uh, Doctor Strange make? Doctor or, or Deadpool? Strange, uh, oh. Uh, yeah, well, Doctor Strange, I, I feel, Deadpool, I feel like it's going to track Deadpool, either Deadpool, Deadpool or Doctor Strange. Deadpool is effectively that, like that's that's whatever Deadpool did. This will do forty million dollars less. So Deadpool, uh, uh, how much money has Deadpool made? Seven. Uh, oh, that's net. Oh, three seventy. Three seventy U.S. Yeah, you're telling me this no, is no, no, no. Gonna... Sorry, three fifty. Three seventy is. Passion of the Christ. Yeah, yeah, oh, never mind. But, Which uh, is somehow in this, that's in this three, Google that's thing. I mean, I confuse those two all the time over the, over the course of you know X number of months. Yeah, all time. So, so two hundred and forty in the first month. Two thirty-five. Is, uh, is, is what Let's you're, you're saying. Let's not overstate it. Yeah. You see, you're saying two thirty-five yeah. in the first month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's here's what. Oh, shit, I don't know if this is domestic. Someone says or... uh, HSX had it at one hundred and forty-one. Well, HSX is wrong. Uh, shit, no, no, no. I'm I'm trying. I'm looking at the. 
uh, four week breakdown on box office mojo.com, which I'm not sure if that's domestic. You know, I, what I don't, what I understand is why this is not something that you can, can you do this in Vegas? Cause you really should be able to do this in Vegas. You should be able to do exactly what you guys are doing right here. Man, if only we knew an odds Vegas. maker who yeah, wanted to yeah. set up an independent operation. Huh, hmm. huh. Hmm. Crazy. Um, yeah. So about according to box yeah, yeah. office mojo, the four-week breakdown, and this was kind of close. Uh, Deadpool opened uh, around this time last year, February 12th through the 15th was the weekend, uh, going to March 4th through the 6th, which would be when uh, yeah, Logan yeah. is opening up. It made 311 million dollars. Yeah, and I and I and I definitely think, and this is the, this is the thing I think was going to give this that this strength is is that it's it's a rated. Oh, oh, uh, this is uh, why I think it's going to have that kind of strength is is. It's a rated R movie. So it's the first time we're actually going to see Wolverine get to be actually Wolverine, right? So all, all of the Marvel fans are like, yeah, we're coming out for that. And the other thing is, is that, is that uh, it's all, you also get to see Wolverine actually do what Wolverine does, which is slice Murder. people a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the thing is like, so I think, I think you're going to get a big, you're gonna, and if it's good, if it's good, you're going to get a lot of, of Marvel, like hardcore Marvel fan repeat, repeat viewers. I had a friend that, 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 watched, that watched Doctor Strange five times in the first two weeks. So so the thing is like so and, and I'm thinking that if if this movie's good, he'll he'll do that same thing with Logan. I mean, but like Ant Man opened large because it's part of the Marvel machine. Yes, the problem yeah. is is that it's, Logan is it, not a part of the Marvel machine. Logan is part of the X Men franchise, which has had declining returns. But, but the Deadpool that I would say that Deadpool had that Logan does not is Deadpool looked funny in the trailers. Yeah. And Logan, although it looked good, it does not look funny. You, you yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, that you, poignancy you're, you're right. sells the yeah, way comedy I mean, does. I mean, you, and, yes. you, and you're right. The thing is, just like, it's like I, I think that yeah. For so the yeah, so that's a gamble. I, mean, I, that's, I think it'll yeah. have legs. I think yeah. it'll do very, very. Yeah. I think it will do well. I always come off as being shitty on Logan, but like, <laughs> I think it will do well, and I think it's going to be a good movie. Yeah. Uh, I just don't think it's when they do Logan too, and now that they've made the deal with Hugh Jackman, that it's like no. Now, oh no, you could do Wolverine movies where you can leave your shirt on. And he's like, great, I don't have to cycle HGH for six months. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, like, then it, that will do Deadpool money. Yeah. But Logan will not. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, I think, I think, I think it'll probably be right in the same. I, I think it'll be maybe, maybe 60, 70 million short, short of Deadpool money. Like, that's my, that's my read on it. Just, just from, okay. from my comic book way, fan friends. By the way, 60 to 70 million less than Deadpool money is. Around two thirty-five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is true. Yeah, I mean, so so you say two thirty-five. If it is below two thirty-five, then uh, uh, then that you buy my if, 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 garlic if mashed I'm, potatoes. Okay, so two thirty-five would be my opening bid, and I would be the sucker, and you would be smart to say, you know, uh, one dollar. Um, if if we're playing over under, I would say my true. All right, hey, Mitz, Mitz is in the chat room. Our Vegas odds maker says that his over under would be one ninety five. I'll take the go, over. I, I, I'll definitely take the over at one ninety five. Wow. So that means it opens at. I mean, because again, according it, to this, Deadpool opened at one hundred and fifty two million dollars. Sure, sure. So so it would have to open close to a hundred million. Uh, in it because it only has three more weeks to make it up after that first. I mean, launch. I mean, this is this is also. I, I, this I'll is also, definitely take the over at one ninety five. Yeah, that, that's a, that's. I, I that's will take the bet. under. I mean, that's yeah, this I'll is, take this the is under for a side of garlic mashed yeah. potatoes to go with my steak, <laughs> or to be taken yeah. away from my steak. To be taken. Although, uh, by the way, and this is of course yeah. free fucking movie <laughs> fame uh, for Cargill. Uh, so maybe he was in a fucking more desperate time for him. But when I had to buy him a fucking steak, that dude not only got the biggest steak on the menu, but also got two side dishes, and I just had to fucking eat it. So I, I mean, I what can we say? To, I was willing to do that under the terms of our our Austin steak bets, but uh, but but yeah, no, I'll I'll, I'll go under on one ninety five. Okay, right on. All right, I, well we'll see. I, I love I I, I just want to. I'd love to. I'd love for this to bifurcate. I'd, lo I'd love for one of you to pick up the steak. One of you be just because I want to see when you're like, hey, no, no, can can I can he actually get the tab? For yeah, the, for the for the potatoes. And, and, but but the potatoes go over here. <laughs> hey, uh, Mike, we talked about doing a, a special one-off at the end of this episode. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah do yeah, do yeah, you want to prep yeah. that while we wrap yeah, stuff yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Justin, we got a treat for you. We got we got a uh, a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, I'm gonna. 
fuck a cow until it's dead. <laughs> oh, like, no, man, that metaphor doesn't track. God. <laughs> Did you? I don't know if you heard Bryce like off mic. Bryce, Bryce, Bryce says talk like a human being. <laughs> <laughs> which, <laughs> which, by the way, he didn't say for that's a lie like the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> Here, can you strum a little bit, Mike? Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. Uh... Oh, I just that. Tune Great. Tune. All right. Oh wait, I know he's definitely tuning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, let, let's plug people then uh long. yes uh ms fake gamer girl herself where can we see more of your lovely antics uh twitch.tv slash fake gamer girl where i cook food for your entertainment oh hey look you're hosting you're us right now yeah how about that how cool is that oh hey uh do we want to talk about the community news the fact that we have a diamond club community that uh, can people join uh, do a thing for oh yeah uh, stream stream whenever you're on twitch uh stream to the diamond club community and that way uh uh when you're on twitch anybody can stream anybody can be a part of it and uh you can immediately find it right there on uh, on on the Diamond Club community. Yeah, it's just it's on your dashboard, so you'll see the community. You just type in Diamond Club, all one word, and uh, it's it's like a team. It's like a public team. Yeah, I and, know, and I for know those URL off the top of my head, I think it's uh, twitch.tv slash community slash Diamond, Diamond Club. Diamond Club, Diamond Club yeah. yeah, that's it. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, uh, you know, Twitch has its own rules and we're still figuring out how everything goes, but it's a great opportunity for us to sort of hand off. It's, it's, it, the mob can move from show to show to show, and uh, it's a great way to, if you have friends who dig Twitch but aren't hip to Night Attack or Diamond Club or Justin's work or, or Ashley's work, uh, they can or Mike TV's work, they can easily plug right in, and we're doing our best to fit in with that community. Absolutely. Uh, and then, of course, uh, yeah, my uh, channel, twitch.tv slash Justin R. Young. And, uh, man, I don't know what else. Oh, I don't know. There's a politics show. If y'all like politics, yeah, we're talking yeah. about. I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, is anybody? I feel like R.L. Stein. Like, are there any politics fans in the house? <laughs> like, uh, Oh, uh, speaking of which, uh, I now know who the biggest victim of the current uh, political climate is. And that is... Yeah, House of Cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I, v, I wonder. And v, nobody yeah. wants to That's, watch House of Cards. Yeah. Nobody finds it hilarious it's, it's to see like, a I, scheming I just, Machiavellian in I the Oval just, Office. I just was. I was like, I need to. I need to watch the end of this because I will stop. I will stop. And and the thing is, like, yeah, like I'm. A, are they? Would they? Are they going to even do a fifth season? Like, that's ridiculous. Like, hey, oh, hey. although by the way, I think Veep will survive because Veep is about excoriating stuff. I think Veep will probably have. A, a more popular season because they'll be able to excoriate things that we find more prescient. Uh, House of Cards was about, oh, look at this, like, but behind the scenes, yeah, look at yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. And now, looking behind the scenes, considering how leaky that White House is, is just turning on CNN. So, like, <laughs> I, I think that you are losing a little bit of it. Uh, all right. Mike, you want to take us out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. This also is, follow this Mike is... online on, on oh, yeah, Twitter. Oh, yeah, Mike TV. Twitch. Sorry, sorry. At Mike Twitter. TV of GSG on Twitter and Mike TV Live on Twitch. He's playing music all the time. Follow him. Here we go. It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next <laughs> NSFW The show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Creative Commons, fuck I'd you! Rather die in a fire then spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood. Oh, I'd rather be dumped in honey and fed to a big ant pile than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while. Oh, NSF W, I love you. Yeah, keep 